Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the Canadian International Television Festival at the Tiff Bell Lightbox in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Luba Goy. What has been the best part about being here at the festival? I'm here. That's the best <laughs> part. The best part is that people still, you know, uh, remember us and and invite us to come and and actually we broke the ice with the festival because we were the first mm -hmm. we were on at two o'clock <laughs> Rick Mercer ah now it's you know it's old news whatever <laughs> he's actually my neighbor we live in the same neighborhood in the East End Great. and tell me a little bit about your experience on Royal Canadian Air Force and how do you what's the trick to coming up with impersonations the trick is to get um, fascinating people, like, you know, I always say that we went through eight prime ministers, nine if you count Kim Campbell. I gave that party the best four months of my life. <laughs> and um, that's not going to be a good picture of me going, mm. but, um, but here's this woman, you know, with blonde hair, who was a female, Canadian female prime minister, and how many people remember Kimmy? But, we had a lot of fun with her and and you know now Pam Wallen has been disgraced you know and she calls me her evil twin sister because she's been on our show many times that I I play Pam Wallen and she plays herself and <laughs> you know she came on our radio show and and uh, we were performing in Saskatoon and she comes from Wadena that's in Saskatchewan and she um, you know there was a little her mother and father were there and and after the show there was a, a, a little get gathering and her mother says to me who is very sweet her mother's very sweet and she says you know Luba I like I like your Pam better than Pam's Pam <laughs> and, I, and Pam Wallen goes mom I'm your daughter and she goes I know honey but you, she, Luba's much funnier as you. She goes, but I'm not supposed to be funny I'm a serious journalist you know someday I'll disgrace myself when I become a senator you know <laughs> But, uh, How did uh, acting at Stratford and being in the theatre prepare you for a life as an actor? Well, you know, I, I'm a National Theatre School graduate, number one, and I was auditioning for a play. Stop it, I hate... <laughs> what? Hello! 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 <laughs> and I was auditioning for this role in Montreal, and the director at the time, Marion Andre, he actually run, ran the St. Lawrence Center, said to me, you know, there's a group called the Just Society, after Pierre Trudeau's We Will Have a Just Society, that does improvised comedy, and I think you should go to Toronto, and I was in Montreal, living in Ottawa, m newly married, and he said, I think you should, uh, you know, try out for this group, I think you'd be perfect, because he used to see my stuff at at the theater school as third year and I'd already been to Stratford and I said to him I said Mr. Andre I, I'm an actor like what do I have to do like listen to CBC radio and <laughs> read the Globe and Mail because they did political satire I said political satire I, I don't do improv in political satire and he insisted so I you know I went and they put me on stage I did a sketch and the rest is history and they hired me on the spot the fools that they were, but you know, I was the only person that was actually trained as a comedian, like as a as a, as an actor. But comedy was always a very soft, you know, spot for me. And these guys really cared about what was happening to Canada. I was an actress. I really didn't think about politics. I hated politics. My father was a freedom fighter, Ukrainian background. You know, Boch Ukraina, like God in Ukraine. I had to, you know, free Ukraine, and I go, Tato, I just want to be a good Canadian. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, actually, I just did a play called Luba, comma, simply Luba, about my life, and it's nominated for a Kobzar Literary Award of $25,000. Wow. Yes, and it was produced. Yes, I have, I, you know, uh, published. I have a play that's published. So now Margaret Atwin and I, you know, we're like this. <laughs> it was, yes, Margaret, well, you know, I'm published too. <laughs> But I was so, I'm so blessed because all these people would come on our show. You know, Jean Chrétien, you know, well, French or English, it don't make no difference to me. I don't speak neither very good. He came on our show, uh, Sheila Copps, you know, you know, you know. Do you hear me? I could have been Prime Minister of Canada. Prime Minister Sheila, PMS. All these people came on our show. 
So it was like just a wealth of material. Great. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations thank on an amazing you. career and thank congrats you. on the play and best of luck. Yes, thank you so much. Thank and you. may the farce be with you at this New Year's Eve, actually. We're having an, I think it'll be our 20th New Year's Eve show. If you could imagine. We'll definitely catch it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chads at the Tiff a Lightbox in downtown Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>